Hey, what's to YouTube fam? It's your girl TK, and I am at a home vlogging, and I decided that I wanted to get online real quick and I make a real, real quick and talk to you guys about Miss Beyonce knows Carter as well as Messy Maya. Now, for the people in the back of the room who don't know who Messy Maya is, I want you guys to understand something. Messy Maya is actually a he. He's the one that's gonna be saying what's happening in New Orleans. You know, in that song Formation. Yeah, that right there. So, if you guys don't know, Messy Maya was a YouTuber, and actually, he was. Cute. He was shot, y'all. Oh, my goodness. May his soul rest in peace. Actually, he was killed leaving his girlfriend's baby shower. So that's really sickening just to know that he would not be in his child's life due to him being murdered. You know, it's one of those situations right there. But anyhow, I want you guys to understand something. Messy Maya, a YouTuber, um, his family was actually coming after Beyonce knows Carter for about $20 million because they were alleging Beyonce is out here stealing. But you know, honestly, when you hear about Beyonce and her, you know, doing certain things, um, I can absolutely believe it because, you know, it's always heard that she's taking information and this case is no different. Um, it's alleged that she actually stole the voice of the deceased, you know? So I wanted to share this story with you guys. If you guys didn't hear about it, um, and this story is coming from Forbes. Now it says Beyonce, um, has asked the court to dismiss a lawsuit against her claiming that her use of Messy Maya's YouTube clips in her formation video and, um, in her formation video is protected by the fair use doctrine. Okay, she believes that her video took only 10 seconds of the YouTube stars clips and repurposed them to sufficiently create a new piece that served an entirely different purpose, which weighs heavily in favor of fair use. B's attorney, Mary Ellen Roy, wrote in the motion to dismiss. You know, when it comes to Beyonce knows Carter, that's one thing that is really unfortunate um, she appears to have like a really good uh, relationship with the court system, the legal system. You know, even now when you talk about Renaissance, Renaissance is a part of the, the justice system. So, um, yeah, Beyonce, she has that friendship there. And um, it seems like she's been able to sway her way or get away with like lawsuits, especially lawsuits when we are talking about duplication. She knows how to, you know, skirt her way out of it, even though people are looking at her side eye and even looking at the judges at times side eye, like, why the fuck did she actually get away with this? Why was she able to steal the deceased voice? And why was there not any remedy for the family when they were asking, you know, Beyonce is making millions of dollars and didn't even say, you know what, let me give you five cents, you know, to the family who was, who basically lost their child or cousin or friend to murder. She didn't give a damn that they will be hearing this voice play over and over again by this megastar. She didn't give a damn. What she did give a damn about was her pockets. What she did give a damn about was making coin. What she did give a damn about was herself. And you could definitely see just her personality, you know, coming out through different people's stories. Even Jay-Z listening to the stories of how he's backstabbing, having no loyalty to like some of his friends especially when we talk dame dash and rockefeller these are the behaviors that is definitely consistent and it's just really sickening to see that the beehive has just basically been like yay that's beyonce she got another win for herself again after she just backstabbed somebody terrorized somebody and stole from the dead you know it's one of those situations like that and they be like yay she's you know, and it's just like, like, come on, get over yourselves. Like, I'm sure you know other people that's out here that's beautiful, babes. It's okay. We know she's cute, okay? She ain't all that, but she cute. And um, I don't understand how, you know, they can just like, um, um, basically, you know, give her that high five. Like, yay, she did it. 
<laughs> she she can't think for her damn self. You know what I'm saying? Like Wendy Williams said, she damn sure can't. She she ain't smart. You know what I'm saying? That's why she ain't online. She don't like to speak allegedly because you know she can't even put a sentence together. But she can have her beehive out here. You know, basically. You know, assisting her along the way. No, sis. No, you don't steal from the deceased. But she did get away with it because she does have that friendship with the court system. And somehow she was able to manipulate and get her way out. And you know what? Kudos to Beyonce. Um, for the family that was impacted by that slaying, that death, may their souls rest in peace. You know, that's one of those situations right there. Also, guys, I want you guys to understand that I have done a lot of videos on Beyonce Knows Carter. I just saw this article on Forbes, and I wanted to share with you guys. I want you guys to understand that when it comes to even the deceased, Beyonce will steal for them. Um, she will steal their information. She will monetize off of them, and she don't give a damn. You know, this is the person that people are out here advocating for, and that, to me, is a thriller in its entirety. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, for the beehive out there, if y'all want to be with y'all bugs, move back, bugs. <laughs> I have to use my Nicki Minaj voice, you know, but it is what it is. Um... If you love it, I like it. You know, I'm not here to, you know, persuade anyone. I'm just here to let you look at the facts. And I'm going to be talking all facts, okay? Reality. That's what we talk about. Anyhow, peace, love, and happiness, guys. Bye.